Hey Bosses, it's Nina. So today we're going to talk about watermarking your images. You know when you see on Instagram when people put these amazing quotes and then the corner it has like their IG address or their name or their logo. That's actually called watermarking. So before we jump in, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can get notifications um, on my upcoming videos. I will be doing 30 videos in the next 30 days. Well, actually, we're like 10 days in, but I'm releasing 30 videos in 30 days. So make sure you um, subscribe. All right, let's jump in. So I'm going to do this tutorial as if you don't have a watermark, right? Um, usually you can use your logo, but if you don't have a logo or maybe you want to put a social media handle or an email address or whatever, you can actually make your own watermarks and place them on top. So on top of images. So let's jump in. Um, as I'm doing this, just I want to remind you that you can use this for whatever. So I'm going to show you for how to do this with photos, but you can also watermark your videos and everything else. So if you want me to show you how to do that, leave a comment below and I'll add it to the list. Okay, let's jump in. The first thing is you want it to be, you want the background to be transparent so you can overlay it or put it on top of your images. So I'm going to actually go to the top left hand corner and I'm going to make the canvas color transparent. Okay, anytime you see these little gray and white squares, that means the background is transparent and these squares won't show up. It's actually going to be completely invisible. Okay, and so I'm gonna make something just super duper simple here. And let's do it pretty and simple. How about that? Okay, we'll use this and I'll add text. So I just pick the font. Remember your fonts that you have installed on your computer are on your left, or excuse me, your right hand side and you can go through those. Here, I'm just going to put at socially Nina, super simple. Um, you want to make it kind of large and then you could always make it smaller um, on the actual watermark. But here, and actually doing this the opposite way, I'm going to do that on your right hand side. And this can be anywhere, but I'm just going to make it larger. There you go. And then I'm going to change the color, of course, to my pink. And what I would do actually, um, DD, I forgot my color. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot this. Okay, we're just going to pick any color. Okay, so what I would do is actually create different colors. So I would do pink, I would do black, I would do, you know, whatever. But let's just get um, one size right. And actually, let's do this as black um, for now. And if you want, you can add a little symbol and that's actually down here. So there's hearts. I don't want a heart. Let's see something simple, but so you can do something like this if you want. Um, if you have a logo icon, mine's a little in, you can do that. I'm just going to add this for now, just to show you that you can do something. So you can do something like this. This is kind of ugly. <laughs> There's other symbols that you can add, like music, stuff like that, right? Whatever you like. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. I don't need these. Okay. So here I have my text. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to crop it. You want to leave a little bit of space, but not too much. And then I'm just going to click on apply and you can also um, put in specific dimensions or you can start with specific dimensions. This is something that that's really, really quick and easy. So I don't want to spend that much time on doing all of that. A um, couple things to keep in mind with your images. I'm going to go up to settings here. You do want to make sure it's in King Kong because it just makes sure that it is the best quality. Right. And then when you save it, I'm just going to first, I'm going to save it to my hub. So I'm going to click on save. I'm going to go into my collection and I have a collection of my own logos. So if I go to not logo apps, logos, Nina Simone consulting, 
and I'll call this um, socially Nina. watermark overlay. One of the reasons why you should do this is because it is now available on your phone. And even though PicMonkey does not allow for layers yet, um, I actually download this and save it to um, my desk, excuse me, my phone and upload it into other applications. Okay, so you can clean this up a little bit if you want, add more space, but I'm gonna go ahead and export it, export to my computer. And I'm gonna use this, and actually let's make sure, one thing I wanna show you, make sure that you do select PNG. This only works with PNG. If you select JPEG, it actually um, will make the background white. So you're gonna export it to your computer. And on my desktop, I have some resources and collateral for training. Okay, so I'll just save it there. What I would do, do then is go in click it and then change it to your next color. So just do a variety of colors because you never know what the background of the image is gonna be and you want it to be able to show up. So I'll just go here again and I'll say blue. And then I continue to do that with each of the colors. Even if it's not your brand colors, I would do black, white, pink, purple, blue, you know, whatever it is. It's super duper easy and quick. So just go ahead and export those. All right, you're all done there. Now I'm gonna, create a design and actually what I'll do is I'll just edit an image. Um, usually you can pick it up from your computer but I know in my hub I have tons of photos. So I'm gonna go to my hub. I'm just gonna pick any picture. Let's just do this one for now. Okay and then for your overlay or your watermark you just go on your left hand side and you click on overlays. So I'm gonna click on add my own. Again you can snatch yours up from your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and get mine from my hub. That's where I save everything. And there you go. So again, this is why you would have multiple pictures because maybe I wanted to put this like right here, right? And then it's black, right? But what I would do, I know a lot of people do this on IG and stuff like that. They put, don't worry about it um, seeing it right now. You just wanna get, it, get the positioning right. And then what you do is you can fade it. That's one way in here, right? There's also other ways. There's blend modes that you can use. You can kind of play around with these to see if any of these work, right? One thing with PicMonkey is no matter what the color is, usually you could just change it to white and then you could fade it, right? You just kind of have to be careful with what's in the background. So that's basically it as far as creating and using it in PicMonkey. Um, one of the things that I would do really is I would go to my hub. I uploaded all of my logos. And so what I would do, let's find out where my logos are, is usually what I'll do, and I'm horrible at this. I have to start doing this a little bit better. Um, these are like the symbols that I have for my brand. So you can do these. So I can actually pick a symbol. Let's go ahead and pick the emoji. And I can do this. I can fade it right? Um, you can also put it in the right hand corner at the bottom. The whole point is you don't want to take over the entire image. You just want to kind of brand it. Now, depending on how much you want to brand it versus making sure no one steals it, if it's in the corner, of course, somebody can come in and just crop out the right hand corner. So don't put it in the corner. If you want to make sure no one um, actually steals your work, what I've done sometimes is you'll see my stuff hidden in certain places. So I can do learned it, right? And maybe I'll take it and place it here on, my, on the hand, right? So I can do this. Or on a, like a very interesting part where you know someone won't crop that out, right? You can do that. You don't want it to overpower the image, but you do want to make sure that you're branding it. But basically, that's how you do an overlay from your desktop using PicMonkey. PicMonkey is my life. I absolutely love PicMonkey. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. But this is how to watermark from your desktop using PicMonkey.